And we will be keeping a close eye on those developments coming in from Kazan. Shifting focus for now. The Havar Rana, who played a key role in the 26-11 Mumbai terror attacks, looks set for extradition to India. It is reportedly imminent. The Havar Rana is a Canadian Pakistani citizen. According to Indian newspaper, the Indian Express, the Indian government has started making preparations for him to be handed over by the United States. In fact, the report says that Rana could be extradited latest by the second half of December. And if this happens, it would be a big development for India. It would mean that the last criminal of 2611 is set for extradition. The meeting follows the denial of Rana's request on September 23rd by the US Court of Appeals. Just the previous month, on August 15, the Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit in California upheld the district court's decision to deny Rana's habeas corpus petition. Uh, the court stated that India provided enough reliable evidence to support the magistrate judge's finding of probable cause that Rana committed the charged crimes. And now Rana reportedly has a 45-day window to appeal against the extradition ruling before the top court. And after that, the extradition may at best get delayed by another 45 days till his last-ditch appeal is waived off. But that rarely happens, according to the report. According to the U.S. government's court's website on procedures, the Supreme Court accepts only 100 to 150 of the more than 7,000 cases it is asked to review each year. That means approximately only 2% of the cases are accepted. The Indian media report also saying that officials, including those from the central investigative agencies and legal departments of both countries, recently held a meeting in this regard at the U.S. Embassy in New Delhi. And in the meeting, which reportedly lasted around three hours, Rana's extradition was a key point of discussion. The talks reportedly focused on what preparations and logistics need to be put in place by the Indian government in order to facilitate the extradition. They also reportedly discussed Rana's jail arrangements once he arrives. Now, here's what you must know about Rana. The 63-year-old was a childhood friend of David Hetley. Hetley, remember, is an American citizen. He was born to an American mother and a Pakistani father. He was arrested in October 2009 by American authorities and sentenced to 35 years in prison for his involvement in the Mumbai attacks. Meanwhile, Rana studied at the Hassan Abdul Cadet School in Pakistan. Hetley, too, attended this school for five years. After a stint as a doctor in the Pakistan Army, Rana moved to Canada and was eventually granted Canadian citizenship. He later established a consultancy firm called First World Immigration Services in Chicago. It was a branch of this business in Mumbai that provided Headley with the perfect cover, reportedly, to identify and surveil potential targets for the Pakistani terror group lashkar e -Toyba. In the 26-11 attacks, which took place on November 26, 2008, LET terrorists stormed into Mumbai. The Pakistani terrorists came to India via boats and for three consecutive days, Mumbai was in the grip of terror. The violence claimed the lives of 166 people, including six Americans. Rana was arrested by American police soon after Hedley's arrest at Chicago's airport in October 2009. And in 2011, he was convicted in Chicago of providing material support to the L.E.T. for the India attack and for supporting the never carried out plot to attack a Danish newspaper. It printed cartoons of the Prophet in 2005. However, jurors in the U.S. cleared Rana of a more serious charge of providing support for the attacks in Mumbai. Headley told prosecutors that in July 2006, he had traveled to Chicago to meet Rana and told him of the mission that the L.E.T. had assigned him. Rana approved Headley's plan reportedly to establish a First World Immigration Services Center in Mumbai and helped him obtain a five-year business visa while deposing via video link at the Bombay City Civil and Sessions Court in February, to February 2016. Hedley claimed that he had informed Rana of his activities only a few months before the attacks in November 2008. In 2011, the Indian National Investigation Agency, NIA, filed a charge sheet against nine people, including Rana. He was charge sheeted for planning, 
and executing the attack. And in the year 2014, a Sessions Court in Delhi issued fresh non-bailable warrants against the men whom the NIA had listed as absconders. And years after the horror of the attacks and years of efforts by the Indian government to nab the accused, it looks like this might just be happening. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.